Okay, here's the next step in our chicken challenge. I am going to uh, re-up my chicken stock since I used it in our sauce. So I have my pan on just like a medium-low heat, and it's not going to be a lot of stock, so I'm using a medium pan. And we just have a little bit of oil in the bottom of that pan, and I have my mirepoix, my magic trio. And so in there is onions, celery, and of course our carrots. I have to practice cutting my carrots, so here is all the leftovers of that. I'm just going to get that all into our pot, and we're just going to sweat it a little bit just to give it a little bit more of a sweetness, and then we're going to add our other ingredients. Okay, our mirepoix is just about where we want it. All the vegetables are just softened. We don't want to brown them. We're not after a brown stock. And I, I have to tell you, I love making stock because this smell is so nostalgic. It smells like when I would walk into my grandmother's house at Thanksgiving and just that smell that overwhelmed you. This is so beautiful. If you've never made a stock, you just have to do it. It's so much better than that store-bought stuff. Okay, so next step, obviously, chicken bones. I've just kind of broken up that carcass a little bit just to make it fit in the pot a little bit better. And then we have our herbs. We have whole peppercorns. We have bay leaves, dried bay leaves. You can use fresh if you've got them. And we have some dried thyme. Don't worry about picking them off the stem because we're going to strain this whole thing out later. We have some parsley stems. Now you have a use for those parsley stems. Don't throw them away. They give great flavor to our stock. And then just a couple of whole cloves. It gives it just a rich undertone. Is it undertone or overtone? All right. Just give that a little mix around. And then, oopsie. No rogue time. <laughs> All right, and then our water. You have to make sure that your water is cold because that is what gets the most flavor out of those chicken bones. All right. You just want to cover it. We don't want to boil. We just want to get to a simmer where we see little bubbles popping up. And then we're just going to let that sit on the stove for probably about four hours and it's going to make the best chicken stock you ever have. All right, my lovely stock has gotten a great color. And what I'm going to do just to make this slightly healthier is just I'm going to skim off a little bit of the fat that's formed right on top. And it makes it nice and easy just to get that off of there so it's not going into your soup or whatever you use your stock for. All right, so I just wanted to show you the nice color this has gotten. And just make sure, get a nice good grip, make sure it's nice and cool. We're just going to strain the whole thing. And if you can see that nice color there, it's going to make a beautiful soup or a bunch of soups actually. And I wanted to show you one more little tip that I like to do. This is going to make a whole lot of soup. So I'm not going to use all of it now or else I'll just wind up throwing some of it away. So what I like to do every time I make a stock is I make stocksicles. So I have just a plain old ice cube tray and I'm just going to pour my stock right into it, freeze it, and then whenever I want I have my lovely homemade stock that I could use in any kind of recipe including a soup. Thank you and I hope you have a great chicken challenge and let me know how it goes. Cheers! <laughs>